current generation Kia Picanto has done a great deal in terms of rewriting the rule books when it comes to small cars by offering design, quality, as well as features that you'd ordinarily find in more expensive, bigger vehicles. Back in 2011, Lindsay went to drive this car at its launch in Turkey and she was extremely smitten by it. So we thought, hey, perhaps it might bowl me over. For 2014, the now famous Tiger Nose Grille has been enlarged slightly and given a red border on top of the range EX models. There are also larger front fog lamps housed in a redesigned bumper. If those changes seem rather mild, wait until you lift the bonnet. The 1.2-litre engine remains completely unchanged. Power and torque outputs are unremarkable, yet sufficient for pottering around town. But what if you want to go tearing around the track? Alright, so we've got the Kia Picanto on the track, it's a little machine. I think it is a machine because it's a bit of a fun car to actually have. I like the way it turns in instantly and then you can just apply the power and accelerate all the way through. And you can really feel like you're, you know, you're straining the engine to get the most amount of power out of it and it just comes to the party. It gives a bit of excitement when you're driving. I mean, when you're behind the wheel, you can feel this is a bit of a nippy, nimble little car. My only concern is that really, Sometimes under braking, it does tend to just go all over the place, but you know what? You can still have a lot of fun in a picante. So you accelerate all the way up. It's not the most powerful engine, but certainly, I think from a fun factor, this does put a smile on my face. And uh, it's very quick and nimble, and when you want it to turn, it really does turn in where you want it to go. As I said, it's just under braking, you know, when you feel that you're scaring the bejesus out of it. So it also then starts wriggling all over the place. But you know what? It's fine. It's all under control. All you have to do is just make sure it's pointing in the right direction. And just press on the gas. I must say, the Kia Picanto really surprised me on the track. I thoroughly enjoyed driving it. It's quite quick and nippy. Uh, the only thing that scares me is that when you clamp on the brakes, it does also get a fright and does kind of ditter around here and there. But otherwise, a very nice, fun car to have.